Good evening, my beautiful collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you've had a great day today. If not, that shit can always turn the fuck around. Remember that. Okay. Damn it, y'all. What the fuck? Let's throw the bell on this shit. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. I sat down, I was just meditating and, and thinking about going live tonight, but um, every fucking deck is telling the same mother-loving story, okay? All my Queen of Cups out there, a lot of you are pulling your match in. You're pulling your fucking match in, okay? If you're doing the work, you're vibing high, you're, you're focusing on what you need to do, you are absolutely pulling your match in, okay? But please do not get distracted by the, the toxic energy. Because I tell you what... Jack, sweetie, what are you doing? Your match isn't the one that you're thinking. Your match isn't anyone from the fucking past. Your match is going to come in and you're not going to have any fucking doubt that this person is who you're meant to build and create with. You know what I mean? You're not going to have to go through that period of kind of rebuilding trust and all that shit in each other. Okay, nick that shit in the butt. You're, you're not going to waste six damn months just, just gaining trust. The person that's meant to be for you, when they come in, you're going to know you can trust this person without a fucking doubt. Yeah, Spirit's not going to dick around another six months to a year just getting you two on the same fucking page, okay? Because uh, y'all are going to meet when it's time for you all to start working together and accomplishing things together. It ain't so you can come together and rehash, uh, uh, spend six to uh, twelve months fucking get, just building trust back. That, that shit ain't even how it goes. So get the, I want you to get that thought out of your fucking head. Yeah, get that thought out of your fucking head. The person coming in is, is not going to be a deceptive energy. You're not going to have any fucking doubt or any reason to doubt this person. Right? Their words or what the fuck they do. Their actions. Because keep that in mind. A lot of you know. If the one that you wanted to come back right now. If the phone fucking rang or they got a text and was looking at the phone. You'd be wondering who the fuck it is. And your first thought would be they fucking cheating. And I don't even want to hear it. Y'all know it's the fucking truth. Y'all know it's the fucking truth. Because a lot of y'all know your person ain't the fucking person. Okay? I stand by my fucking readings. I believe the one that's meant for you and you guys meet, you're going to know without a fucking doubt that this person is 100% trustworthy. Was that reading that I did where they were, uh, their word's going to be as good as a fucking legal binding contract, okay? That's how fucking strong and solid your faith and trust is going to be in them. You're not going to be backtracking trying to regain somebody's fucking trust. Okay, because that's just going to dick around and waste your time and energy. <sighs> waste your time and your energy. Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We're getting out of this energy. Those of you know, uh, if the person couldn't give to you and give balance and equal to you, that's not your fucking person. We're going to move out of this energy, Okay. This is kind of the basis of the reading we got going on. Because every card, I, every deck I pulled from was telling the same story. Love coming in, guys. Love coming in. And y'all know daddy don't do fucking love readings. Nine of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, sweet Jesus. Seriously? Yeah. 
Okay, you've all gone through this tower moment. Okay, the one that you thought was wish fulfillment, the one that you thought was going to come in and save the day. Yeah, that's not it. That's not them. You're getting out of this energy. What you thought wish fulfillment was. A lot of you have gotten fucking uh, better clarity as to who and what the hell you want and expect from a fucking person, right? You ain't gonna go back to shit that wasn't equal. Five of Pentacles in reverse in this tower moment. Yeah, when you were left out in the cold, you had to create your own fucking warmth, right? For a lot of you, it was from this tower that came that this person fucking, they, they left your ass out in the cold. In order for you to come out of the cold, you had to go through this tower moment, this fucking transformation, right? That's what kept your ass warm. It wasn't that other person cuddling up to you and telling you how great you were. Mm-mm. Uh, you did this shit on your own. Man, you did this shit on your own, right? Through that fucking tower moment. That's called transformation. And through that transformation, you realize the most important thing out there. Five of pentacles in reverse going to the six of pentacles with the uh, ace of pentacles here. You ain't giving to anything that isn't equal and balanced. You are not giving up. You, who the fuck you are, your stability, your money, your time, your energy into situations where people aren't giving back to you. And how'd you learn that? How'd you fucking learn that? When that tower came down and you had to get the warmth you need, uh, you needed on your own to come out of your own damn darkness, your own damn freaking healing process. Because it was a healing process. And through that healing process, you realize what you didn't want just as much as what you did want. Because sometimes, if you don't exactly know what you want, as long as you know what you don't want, there's a good fucking start. But you learn that through healing. You learn that through healing. You learned that through that fucking tower moment when this person left your ass out in the cold. And you had to warm your own damn self up. Picture someone, you know, having to burn the fucking furniture, right? Because they, they didn't have wood just to stay warm. You learned that through your own damn self. And you learned that this is not what it's about. If they can't give equally, time, attention, you're not giving them everything. Fuck that shit. That's a lesson you had to learn, right? Now we got this. This current energy, this present energy, seven of wands in reverse, king of swords in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, six of swords in reverse, and the freaking hierophant call. Card. Called. Okay, called. Some of y'all may be getting a call. Expect a call. Nine, five, six. Seven, one, zero, six. That could be a phone number. That could resonate for somebody. That could be a number you need to know. For a lot of you, your test is going to be when that person comes back. When they, when they think your defenses are down with this seven of wands. Maybe a lot of them don't realize exactly what the fuck you've been working on. What the hell you've been doing, right? When they left your ass out in the cold and you were warming your damn, own damn self up. They didn't realize the transformation you were taking. A lot of them are still thinking you're in this Seven of Wands energy, right? That you're, you're not going to be able to defend yourself. You're not going to be able to speak up and speak your mind about what the fuck you want. So when they come in, because they want to come in, uh, this King of Swords here with this Ten of Pentacles, they're not done yet. Oh, they're not done yet. Mm-mm. Oh, you know, they left, them, they left them swords in your back. They just want to come back to make sure you're still down because they think you're defenseless right now. They think you're fucking defenseless. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spirit has something to say on that shit, too. Right? And for some of them, this, this person don't even... Uh, how do I want to put this? It's like the Seven of Swords energy. They may just make you think that they want to come back. When they come in and communicate, they haven't changed anything from where the fuck they're at. They're just going to come in and make you think that they're going to be moving towards you. But they have no intentions. They just want to make sure you're still down and unable to defend yourself. You still got them swords in your back? Are you still defenseless? Are you still defenseless? Hmm. You know what Spirit says to that? I don't fucking think so. Because see, the whole time, 
Because this person didn't know how to pay attention and give to the right things, they didn't realize the whole time what the fuck you've been doing. Well, you're not the defenseless old person you were before, right? You know how to warm your own damn self up now, right? What you didn't know how to do in the past, dealing with this individual, oh, you learned now how to do it. You learn how to take care of yourself, right? This is that finding that self-love when you're able to create your own warmth and heat, right? What's the essential of life, right? Protect yourself from the elements. When you was out in the fucking cold, shivering, and no one around to help you, you figured it out. Through that tower moment, you got the the the, the warmth that you needed. You got you got the um, uh, how my how do you want to put this? You got the ability to um, understand how things work. You got to be able to do it on your own. And whatever situation you're left with, whatever that tower moment is, you take from the rubble what you need to keep yourself alive, to keep yourself going, to keep yourself. Um, It's like the basics. The basics. Some of y'all, it disrupted everything. You had to like go back and learn the fucking basics. The basics of shelter. The basics of, uh, of, of taking care of yourself. This person thinks they're going to come back, but spirit's like, uh, they got a whole other idea in mind. They don't think so. Spirit don't think so. This King of Wands energy, right? That never paid no attention to you before. Wanting to come back. This is some of you wanting that fucking comeback for fuck's sake. Okay? You you think this person's going to be the one. Three of Cups in reverse. This person is always going to leave you out of the fucking mix. This person is always going to leave you out of the... Out of, out of the fucking rotation. Whatever the fuck you want to say with this Three of Cups card. You're never going to be part of their crowd. You're never going to be part of their 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 inner circle, so to speak. In whatever way, shape, or form you want to interpret this fucking card. Okay? Spirit's letting a lot of you know that. That's not the way it goes. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Swords. Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles here. Some of you all, if this isn't a love reading, this could be dealing with family, right? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this could be dealing with your mama, your sister, your auntie, your grandma, your best friend. You know this person is definitely not a very nice person, and you've had to cut them the fuck off, okay? You've had to let some people go. Part of this journey with this tower for you was to learn a lot of fucking lessons, the main thing is the basic skills of survival. How do you survive it? When you're left out there in the cold and you're fending for yourself, you got to learn the basics of survival. And once you start working towards that, once you start understanding how that all works, right? You're like going through this tower moment. You're fucking cold. You're out there by yourself. You're thinking, what the hell am I going to do? Then you make your first fire, and then you're like, oh, shit, okay, now I'm warm. Then you learn how to put them bricks together, how to take that, that rubble and build you a nice little cozy nest. So, okay, now you got heat. You got shelter. Some of you starved a little bit, right? Uh... Yeah, if you want to say there's a blessing that comes with depression, it can be the weight loss. And I say that not to be cruel, but for a lot of you, you lost a little weight in the process too, didn't you? You know, when you're depressed and you're not eating and, and you know, you're, go you're going through all those emotions. But sometimes that can be a positive little out, out uh, a, a positive little um, reward as you're climbing your way out of this fucking tower moment. Learning to be self-fucking-sufficient, okay? Because that was the whole fucking point. When you were put out in the cold, there's a lesson to be learned. Spirit was like, no, you're not staying out in the cold, but you're going to learn how to use how to use what you got to, uh, to pick your ass up. What am I saying all the time? It don't matter how many times you fall on your ass, how many times you're getting your ass back up. This is you giving to yourself. And a lot of you have been patiently waiting. 
You've been patiently waiting here. Well, we got the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. Now we finally got the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. This is you getting your shit together. Some of you have been able to get your finances together. Some of you have been able to look at what you've invested in, in yourself, in your surroundings, what you've accomplished right now. So now you're going to start giving to yourself. Now, for some of you, this could be unexpected uh, gifts coming in or an unexpected check, something along that lines. The unexpected here. This could be a, a job offer, definitely. If you're waiting around in a crappy job and you want to better yourself, this is going to put you in that eight of pentacles mode where you're going to be more focused on working on you and what you want to create, what you want to do, what you want to, what you want to create. A lot of it is what, what do you want to create? Options. You want options for yourself. You want to have choices. Now, you know, when you picked yourself up from that tower moment, a lot of you didn't have too many fucking options, right? You were stuck where the fuck you were at. You had to make do with what the hell you had. And a lot of you climbed through it. You did it. And yay rock for you that did it. Through the healing. Because all that is through the healing process, y'all. The pain comes through the healing. You got to learn to take... Uh, your situations, your energies, and, and, and learn to use them positive, right? The one thing to combat depression is to get active. Start exercising, start moving, start being proactive. When you get depressed, you us usually lack hope. Hope that things are going to get better. As soon as you learn to figure out, you can create your own hope by being proactive in your life. Getting out of this five of pentacles energy on your own. So you have options. I'm telling you, the one that's going to come in and be your perfect match is going to almost mirror your fucking energy. Okay? You all are going to be on pretty much the same fucking page. And a lot of you know, it ain't the one that puts you in that five of pentacles energy. The one that created those fucking towers. Because the one that comes in, you're not going to be dicking around wasting time doing the healing process. Okay? Uh, spirit ain't gonna dick around with that. You ain't gonna spend six months to 12 months just learning to trust each other again. Okay? Think about it. Yeah, that just puts you in this Queen of Pentacles in reverse mode. Now, for some of you, this is that... that feminine energy around that you realize isn't to the best of... of doesn't have the best of intentions for you. Take that however that resonates in your life. Okay? Sister, mama, auntie, grandma, could be baby mama for my masculines out there. This is the energy that doesn't want to see you uh, strive. This is an This could be a separate energy. I don't fucking know your story, right? Tell us more about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Those of you that, are, that arose from the, the ashes, right? You did the phoenix. You learned from it. You learned from where you were at. And you learned to make do with what you had in order to climb out of that depressive state, in order to climb out of that feeling of lack. You are now not in this Queen of Pentacles in reverse mode. No, you're slowly getting your ass to that Queen of Pentacles mode. As soon as you start working on you, yes, a lot of this, Three of Cups in reverse with the King of Cups. But you see, this King of Cups is never going to let you into that circle, okay? I got to let you know that. Because a lot of you, that is the energy that you're waiting on. The one you want to come in and apologize. The one you want to feel love from. Or the, some, the ones of you that still want that, okay? Now, most of you have wised up and realized they're not the fucking one. Because your basics for dating you have, have done already changed, right? You've actually elevated to the point where you have some pretty basic standard um, wants and needs that you're not going to, uh, it's, it's like non-negotiable. I want to say non-negotiable because you're going to spot all them red flags because you learned from this King of Cups who didn't want to include you, who didn't want to make you a part of their circle.
You know what I mean? The person that would withhold. The person that would... Uh, this is like an energy that would belittle you, right? Always, if they wanted to compare you to someone else, it was always to demean you, right? If this person, uh, they, they just wanted to make you feel out, left out, while they were given to others. You're not in that energy anymore. Some of y'all might have divorced this son of a bitch, okay? Or divorced this bitch. It's that Queen of Cups energy. Spirit wants to bring in the one you're meant to be with. There's this beautiful, overflowing cup of love. But that person is probably going to show up in more of an action type state, right? They're going to be a positive king of swords. They're going to be a positive uh, king of wands energy. You're going to meet someone that's going to be just as focused as you just as active as you, just as in control of their situation as you, because they've gone through the same fucking thing. Y'all don't think if one don't freaking take the journey that you're not going to get someone else's that did the work. Y'all don't think it don't work that way. Because not everyone takes the invite from God, y'all. Not everyone accepts it. But the ones that do... The ones that do, when they finally come out of hiding, and, and, and when it's time, it's not even hiding. When it's time for you guys to start working together, that's when that's when you're going to meet. That's why you always got to be proactive on your journey, shooting for what you want. This is about you. Remember, that's a solitary fucking journey, y'all. It's all about where you end up at the end. You doing the work for you. Now, when... Your person comes in, it's to join you on that journey, and you both work together. Your singular journeys become one journey. That's what it's about. And it'll happen when it's time for y'all to start working together, to start creating together, to start building uh, uh, this relationship up. But it's not going to be one where you're going to waste time and energy just learning to retrust somebody. That just sounds redundant, don't it? Why would you backtrack when you've already left that space? You know? Blank don't live here anymore. Right? We left that old address behind. Along with all the old baggage and shit uh, that was associated with it. You're not in that energy anymore. You're not in that apartment. You're not in that fucking house anymore. You've elevated. And those of you that are in the same freaking place, you've changed it around, haven't you? You wouldn't recognize the room. The pictures all have different frames now. And all the chairs are rearranged now somehow. I've hardly thought of you this year. Yes, there have been changes made since you stayed here. Ooh, that's an old Bette Midler song. I love that song. I love that song. <laughs> King of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands. A lot of you are going to have offers. Some of you, it's going to be an earth sign energy. Some of you, it's going to be a water sign. They're both going to be two different offers. Now, for some of you, this could be the same energy, right? They could be an earth sign with a lot of water in their chart or a water sign with some earth placements that are important in their life. But the thing is, this person is going to come in and be emotionally available. They're going to come in willing to give to the situation. So you have options. Because remember, when two becomes one, you start working together. A lot of you, this person is going to help you as you go on your path. And you're going to help them as they go on their path. 
you're both going to be helping each other and promoting each other and, and, and working together moving forward. And even if it's separate paths, it's going to be a parallel path where you both are able to work together. For some, you could be dealing with someone who's a little more on the emotional side. Perhaps they're like a speaker or something along that lines, right? They, they write, they produce, maybe it's music. They're more in their emotions. For some of you, it could be someone that works more with their hands. They're more into like a trade or, or actually creating with their hands. Being more, um, more of what you would consider like a stable type job, an accounting, something along that lines. But even if your paths are different, your trajectories are different, they're still going to parallel each other. Y'all are going to be able to bounce off each other. You know what I mean? Now, if you're an earth sign, dealing with the water sign. This water sign, dealing with the earth sign. Y'all are going to work together. Even if your paths seem different, you're both going to be able to contribute to one another. Because you're going to have options. The thing at the end of the day is you're going to have options, but they're going to be positive options. You know what I mean? Someone could be a little more energetic with this Knight of Cups here. They could be more of an outside person, more of a more of an energy that that's that's more active, right? This person likes to get out and move. They like to go forward. They like to be active. The other one might be a little more sedentary, right? Maybe they prefer sitting at home and, and watching the news or reading a book. Two completely different energies. For some, that could be your choice. Which one do you want to move forward with? Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think that there's more than one out there? That, you know, Spirit's going to give you two choices. You can actually look at two options and decide which one you want. Do you ever think about that? That you're actually going to have choices when it comes to love? Do you want this water sign energy? That's more outgoing, more athletic, more adventurous? Or do you want this earth sign energy that tends to be more sedentary? Did you think about that? You could have multiple options. Which one is going to be the perfect match to where you want to go and how you want to live your life? Or whichever one shows up. You all are going to be working and creating together. I cannot stress that enough. If you get with a person and you can't work and create and build with this person, that is not the fucking person you need. Okay? If this, if you guys are on like opposite fucking pages and you can't sit down and talk and communicate to work together, that is not your fucking person. Okay? Because as you move forward, power couples work together. They communicate, right? They're, they understand each other. They're able to talk about their emotions and talk about what they want, the stability, long-term goals, short-term goals. For some of you, it's, it's, it's a person that wants to take a lot of little breaks to kind of break up the monotony of things. Trust. You didn't go through what you went through to, to, to get settled with some piece of shit, Okay. Or you're wasting time and energy rehashing the past. You're moving forward and onward. Some of you, this could be one energy coming in. A water sign with earth placements. An earth placement with water signs. You know, we're all fucking mutts at the end of the day anyway. Or one singular person. Either way, you're going to be the one with options. Remember that. You're going to be the one with options. Don't you like that? If you didn't know that, you know that shit now. You're going to be the one with options. And be expecting things to start to happen. But in order for that to happen, you have to be out there in the world meeting people. You have to be out there doing your thing and you're going to attract the right one. 
They're going to show up when it's time for y'all to start working together, creating together, building together. When you both need to come into each other's lives. I like that energy. Peace, love, and light. Let's throw the bell on this shit. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Believe it. Believe it. My queen of cups, my king of cups out there. It's all coming. It's all coming. Peace, love, and light.